Here is an update video of, of my B series Thunderbolt 1003. So the project update is I got a new motor, solenoids, and in the process of building building a custom RC3 for this. So there's this it, it has some slight damage to solar housing covers from what happened my month ago. So it is B series. I got. Oh yeah, I'm gonna build a rotator gear, a rotator box cover. Just like the side panel. That, well, I know two of them are, are are not here. I only have one, and it came without the other one. So I'm gonna build one so so I plan on putting this on the pole probably probably in 2022 or possibly late this year which is unlikely since so still getting the parts to build this thing it if it were to go on there it probably gonna it may replace Thunder, Thunderbolt 1000 or it could be mounted like somewhere like over behind where this thing sits or so It's probably gonna use the same blower, blower paint, the blower cover. Now I'll just show the solenoids. So here are the solenoids. They were from Fort Worth, Texas, is 1003. That's what I believe. If you mistake the town name, you can correct me. But this is what it came off of. The same 1003 that th these came off of is, is actually in Upson County, Georgia. Now I'm going to move on to show the rest of the update. What I'm about to show is the, the RC and Re custom one and the rotator motor for it. So here is the custom made RC and Re in process. It's not done. The cabinet is not, itself is not done, and I got all the component. Well, you see this right here is going to be the supposed digital flasher, but it's actually. Uh, oh. It this is the flasher, or mainly the traffic signal control board for a traffic light. But I'm going to be using this as a flasher. I tested it; and it works, and it has time and adjustment option and other mode options. Or even custom modes if I want to create one. So, well, I, I'll link this in the description where you can, in case you all wondering if you all want to buy this, like for to build for a 1003 flasher or something. This it's, this thing runs on 120 volt and 240, or I forgot the exact range this thing uses. So, okay, moving on to the... The rotator motor, here it is. I got this on eBay. It appears to be the right size I got. I, I think the shaft might be a little too long, but I'm trying to get in the process of getting a shaft cabling for this motor. It does work. Just have it... I've tested it, it works before I install it. It's just waiting to be installed. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I got all these contacts for the RC3 limit to get uh, ordered, so this one I'm, I'm waiting for them to show up before I can start fully assembling it. The, R, the custom made RC3, and yes, it'll be repainted to yellow. I don't know if anyone wants to open Well, it's not on the hinges right now, it's just to show purposes. In case you don't want to see the inside. That's what it looks like. Looks like it looks like it might leak. I'll have to make sure that there's no water coming in. And y'all might see this thing right here. Yes, that's a Thunderbolt 1000 chopper assembly. I have a, a Thunderbolt 1000 that well, I didn't really show that much about it, but till now since, but. This thing works. I would power it up, but 
it's kind of dangerous testing this thing because how it's set up. Well, it's not connected to anything right now. It's just don't swap it. My thun my Thunderbolt thousand, but it's real no point because there's it's the same chopper. And okay, I think that's it. I think that's all for this video. I'll make another update or so, like when it gets closer, the or the demonstration of RCM free. It's supposed to work. It's really good RCM free control board I, I bought as the flashers. It can do high low or pulse or other signals I wish to want to do. And hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. See you next time.